extracapsular dissection and limited peritidectomy. Via otolaryngology head and neck surgery. Elsevier nonsolus.png. Publication date, available online July 3, 2018. Source operative techniques in otolaryngology head and neck surgery. Authors, David Misurek. The rotted surgery has evolved over the last century. Many of the long-held principles have been questioned and consequently modified. The basic tenets of parotid surgery for benign disease have been identifying and preserving the facial nerve and complete excision of the tumor with an adequate cuff of normal tissue. This can be safely accomplished by extracapsular dissection or limited, partial parotidectomy. Extracapsular dissection implies no attempt at finding the facial nerve, while limited or partial parotidectomy includes finding one, or more branch of the facial nerve and then dissecting that branch in a retrograde fashion. Indications for extracapsular dissection or limited peritidectomy are similar to superficial peritidectomy. There is some evidence that this technique can be used safely without compromising oncological principles with low-grade cancers. Extracapsular dissection or limited peritidectomy should not be performed for large tumors anatomically difficult to reach tumors and high-grade cancers. When compared to superficial peritidectomy, extracapsular dissection had similar recurrence rates. Extracapsular dissection had lower transient and permanent facial paralysis rates. Frey syndrome was also reported less frequently following extracapsular dissection. Silosals may be more frequent postoperatively but are easily treated and rarely last longer than three weeks. Add DAGs, currently, ORL, Medicine by Alexandros G. Sfakianakis, 